Welcome to the Introductions Necessary podcast, a daily introduction to the contributions of women working in STEM fields. March 22nd marks the international observance of the UN's World Water Day, which has been described as an opportunity to learn more about water-related issues, be inspired to tell others, and take action to make a difference. One business that has been at the forefront of making better water through better chemistry is the Hawk Chemical Company. Started in 1947 by Catherine and Clifford Hawk, the company was a pioneer in creating easy-to-use standardized testing and water purification kits. Catherine, known as Kitty, and Clifford met at Iowa State University while she was studying to be a home economics teacher and he a chemist. After selling the rights to a patent, the newly married couple bought a small piece of land in Ames, Iowa and built their chemical plant. The company thrived under the joint leadership of Kitty and Clifford with the development of their water testing kits and powdered reagents. Kitty, a licensed pilot, would fly them to trade shows as well as flying samples to potential customers around the country. Their original customers were medium-sized municipalities that needed simple procedures and easy-to-follow instructions for their water testing. The biggest drive in their new-style marketing was direct-to-consumer mailings that would include color photos and sometimes a product sample. In 1982, the Hawk Scientific Foundation was created to support chemistry in the classroom, awarding both scholarships to future chemistry teachers as well as grants to current high school chemistry teachers. In 2009, the American Chemical Society began handling the administration of these funds. Kitty, who served as the president, COO, and CEO of Hawk Chemical, was also the first female director of the American Water Works Association, a nonprofit group working to improve water quality around the world. She has stated that, the water we have on this planet is all that we have. It needs to be cared for. Passing away at the age of 97 in 2020, she left behind an amazing legacy of improvements in the water analysis field, a deep continuing commitment to supporting chemical education, and a loving family. In her obituary, it was shared that Kitty is certain that heaven exists and that an airplane is awaiting her. Introductions Necessary is a production of Nine Hour Films. Our music was composed by Kristen Baum. Please visit our website, introductionsnecessary.com, to listen to previous episodes and learn more about the women featured in this program. We would love for you to introduce yourself to us on Patreon. You'll get the latest updates and find out how to support the podcast on patreon.com slash 9hourfilms. Thank you for listening.